guys, Dr. Rob Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. I wanted to talk today about vitamin C. Uh, I know I've talked a lot about vitamin C before. I've done uh, a, num a number of other videos on vitamin C. But I just wanted to, I came across a, an interesting study and I just wanted to use it to support some of the things that I've said about vitamin C in the past. Um, there are really two schools of thought um, regarding vitamin C. Some people claim that you can get all of the vitamin C you require. Uh, from your diet if you eat a very high quality diet. There's another uh, school of thought that says that you really need supplements in order to be able to pro provide enough vitamin C in your diet for uh, modern life. I happen to fall into the second camp. I, b I believe that uh, most people, particularly those that are physically active, particularly those people that are stressed, particularly those people that are exposed to pollution and high amounts of um, potentially free radical generating um, toxins and, and pollutants require uh, more vitamin C uh, than we can get in our diet. Um, studies have shown that if we eat a very high quality diet, high in fruits, high in vegetables, uh, and we take every opportunity in our diet to be able to uh, take as much vitamin C as possible, the maximum amount of vitamin C that we can get in our diet is about 600 milligrams a day. Um, to get above that you really need to take dietary supplements and um, you know the amount of vitamin C you, you need will be dependent on your body size, it will be dependent on, on, on how much pollution you're exposed to, it will depend on how much physical activity you do and it will also be dependent on your uh, biochemical individuality but I would say um, roughly from about 1 gram to 3 grams, that's 1000 milligrams to 3000 milligrams a day of vitamin C which is also called ascorbic acid per day should cover most people uh, and allow them to have optimal uh, plasma levels of vitamin C throughout the course of the day. Now just to clarify there's, uh, in terms of the diet I do believe that those people uh, now just to go back um, to, those, to, to, to the school of thought that says that we should get our vitamins from our diet and we should get our vitamin C from a diet I do agree with that I've always said this in all of my videos, I think that um, it's very important to try and eat the highest quality foods that you can in order to be able to at least attempt to get the nutrients you require from your foods. Um, for, for many nutrients that is possible uh, and, and, and I've always said this, food is the best source of these nutrients, we're designed to eat foods, we're designed to absorb the nutrients from foods. However I do think that there are certain vitamins uh, particularly vitamin D, vitamin C and maybe vitamin E and there are certain minerals as well um, that I think that you really there is a really strong case um, for recommending supplementation and there's a number of factors for that um, uh, you know our diet is not uh, is not as, as, as possibly as, as high quality as it, as it, as it could be um, there are there is obviously a delay between um, the, the food being grown and us eating it there's you know there are chemicals on the foods um, there are, there is a certain amount of processing in certain foods so even if you try your hardest to eat the highest quality diet um, you know there's, there's there's a lack of minerals in some of the agricultural soils some of the agricultural practices are not perfect and I, I do think that there is a case for supplementation um, for certain uh, certain nutrients and vitamin C is one of those so one to three grams of vitamin C um, I would suggest uh, in vitamin C tablets plus whatever you get in your diet would be enough to cover most people for their vitamin C needs. Now there are some studies that come out that show uh, and actually support this argument that supplementation is necessary and I'll put the uh, link to this study that I'm going to just about to discuss in the comments box below so you can have a look at it yourself. It was a study that looked at um, some of the uh, metabolic changes that occur with insulin resistance and it actually used type 2 diabetics um, so these people had um, uh, they, they were diagnosed medically as having type 2 diabetes which means really that they had a very high um, levels of insulin resistance they were still able to produce insulin but that insulin wasn't effective at getting um, the um, glucose from the blood into their cells and as a result they had elevated levels of um, blood glucose. Now type 2 diabetics medically are always recommended to increase their uh, exercise uh, the amount of exercise they take and also to improve their diets and the reason for this is that it's known that exercise and certain dietary changes can 
improve insulin sensitivity and that therefore lowers the fasting blood glucose levels and it's the high levels of blood glucose in type 2 diabetics that cause um, the the detrimental effects so lowering blood glucose levels for diabetics is uh, is paramount to improving their health uh, and there are many studies that indicate that you can uh, certain people will be able to reverse their type 2 diabetes if they eat a very high quality diet and they perform physical activity because of the insulin sensitizing effects of their both diet and exercise. Now this study looked specifically at vitamin C uh, and it gave vitamin C to these type 2 diabetics for six weeks and it gave the vitamin C at two doses. Uh, one of the doses was 500 milligrams per day and the other dose was 1000 milligrams per day. Now, interestingly, what the study found was that after six weeks, those subjects that had been consuming a thousand milligrams had uh, improvements in their uh, in the symptoms that you would expect from insulin uh, resistance. In other words, their fasting blood glucose levels decreased, uh, and their, uh, their their plasma insulin levels uh, were were improved as well. Um, however, these effects were not seen uh, in those subjects taking. 500 milligrams per day of vitamin C. Now if I go back to where I introduced this video uh, in, t in terms of the amount of vitamin C you can get in your diet you can see why in certain circumstances vitamin C supplements are necessary. You can get about 600 milligrams of vitamin C in your diet that wouldn't have helped these type 2 diabetics. The 500 milligram uh, tablet was not effective at reducing the fasting um, uh, blood glucose levels. They needed a thousand milligrams and it's unlikely that you would get a thousand milligrams uh, you'd be able to obtain a thousand milligrams in your diet. So for these subjects in order to be able to improve their um, th their condition, in order to be able to improve their, uh, their type 2 diabetes, uh, to be able to improve their health, lower their fasting blood glucose levels, they required a, a dietary supplement of vitamin C, and this is just one example of, 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 the, of you know of the many studies that indicate that there are good reasons why taking a supplement of vitamin C, uh, and you could argue other vitamins as well, uh, is actually beneficial to the health. So I, I like to try and support um, the uh, contentions that I make. I like to try and support my videos with evidence, and I came across this paper and I thought it was very good evidence. So um, I'm not dismissing the fact that you should try and get vitamin C from your diet. What I'm saying is that in certain circumstances for certain people um, vitamin C supplements in, in the form of tablets I think are necessary and this is one case that supports that view. Uh, it was clear that these people uh, benefited from taking a vitamin C supplement and there's no way I don't think that they would have been able to get that thousand milligrams of vitamin C uh, from their diet alone. So I hope that was interesting. Um, I will put like I say I will put the link to that video um, in, in the comments box below this uh, this video and then you can obviously read the paper yourself if you've got any questions about this video or any other questions on nutrition also please feel free to put those in the comments box below I do uh, I do try and answer all the questions um, and, and they there you have it if you want to if you do think that you need to uh, improve your uh, insulin sensitivity and you do want to uh, lower your fasting blood glucose levels if you think they're a little bit high thousand milligrams of vitamin C, uh, read the paper, make your own mind up, um, do your own research, uh, but a thousand milligrams of vitamin C appears to be effective at, at lowering blood glucose levels. So I hope that was interesting and I'll see you soon for another video. Take care.